and never going to make it. As long as he gets through there and doesn't make position. Oh, here he is again. He's involved oh, in drama. Oh, no. And he goes across the front of Jillison. And the Monster Commodore is damaged. And I reckon he's done. It's got pies. You can actually see the left front's hanging off that car. That's got some sort of suspension damage there. Remember, that's the car that won the series last year in the hands of Andrew Thompson. And if it was to fail to finish, I think it's the first time it's ever racked up a DNF in the Dunlop series. But how about Scott McLaughlin? Tenth on the grid and a race win one corner away. Oh, what a fantastic job. And you can have a look at that Fujitsu foul, but not a mark on it. All three of these guys have done a great job. Medecki's under pressure from Perkett, who gets a good drive out of the last corner. But McLaughlin wins his third race in a row. One in Perth, two in Townsville. Medecki home in second. Great drive from Perkett to run home third. Then Jones, then Walsh, then Russell. Elliot Barber, the rookie's done a fantastic job in that ex-GRM Commodore. They've had some engine dramas earlier on in the weekend, but it's come good now. He finishes seventh, but McLaughlin set the fastest lap of the race, a 115.25, back on lap five. Now, let's have a look at this drama with Scott Pye. He's just in too deep. He just taps the rear of Russell. That sends him across the front of Gillison and finished him off, really. He just locks the rears up. Way too deep under brakes. Last lap, obviously still hot under the collar from that drive-through panel.